all right guys welcome back to another video so i actually did this twice the first one the first hog i had it on no audio okay so i'm gonna redo it on this second hog but you're gonna see uh, most of the image from the first hog okay so anyways well after carrying this guy i'm actually hard time breathing but anyways um this is how i do my whole hog with the skin on i'm gonna use a torch Okay, I'm gonna use a torch like this one right here. Okay, so the hog is the best part of the hog is the skin. Okay, so without the skin, it won't taste that good. Most of you guys will just, you know, go down and then just rip the skin off, you know, skin it off and just leave the leave the meat. Okay, so I mean that will marinate it very well, but it's not for the grill. Okay, for a brisket, yes. Um, you know 24 hour bacon that's perfect but leave the skin on okay the skin that have the, like a, a crunchy uh, type and a, a crunchy texture in there so it tastes a lot better so anyway this is how I'm gonna do this hog right here okay so let's watch it <laughs> So using the torch and go full blast on it, you're gonna have some hairy smell, but you know, that's not a problem at all. Use the torch on high and just blast it. <laughs> get better than this you know it's actually a little cool outside but with this going on you can see it's still burning right here it's keep me warm very warm <laughs> So once you get your hog this dark, okay, so you know the skin is not happening anyway. Uh, it's not anything wrong with the skin. It's not burning anything except the uh, the area on the stomach because the skin is very thin, so it's kind of crack a little bit like that. But that's just fine because you're gonna cut down here anyway. So let's scrape it up, okay? So if you're gonna scrape it like this, you see how that ash, how that ash is it's not coming off very well and it's flying everywhere what you want to do is just spray on it okay now spray on it to get all this uh all this ash just kind of soften out 
and the hogs is actually uh, cool down a little bit because you know you've been burning it with so much heat. Just go around several times to kind of cool down because the skin is a little hot right now. All right, so the same area I scraped a little earlier with without water. Okay, so watch now. See, you see how much is coming up. See how easy it is, and it's not flying everywhere like like when it's it's not wet. See, just like that, and you can scrape the whole. Or you, you can scrape to wherever you're gonna cut. I usually cut it all the way down here and around the jar. So I'm gonna scrape it right there. And the arm, the legs, you know, the front legs, the neck area. You know, work around this area first because it gets dry and then you're gonna respray it again. Very easy. Especially the legs right here in the bottom is a little harder because you know you hang it upside down. So I like to work that area first before it get dried up. And uh, it's a little harder to, to scrape when, when all of this get dry. It's kind of like that. You know, easy. work the cavity area and that's that that easy you know we're gonna cut up right here so I'm gonna only gonna scrape it to about right there I'm gonna lower it down and scrape the top I'm gonna respray it again you don't have to but I do anyway and we can continue scraping. The butt area as well. Okay, so this is a male, a male pig. So it's, it's a little easier to work with on the butt area. And again, I'm only gonna scrape it to about right here because I'm gonna cut off right there anyways. The tail, you don't have to, you know, you're gonna cut it off. I don't need the tail. Some people do want the tail, it's crunchy, but I just don't care. So I'm gonna cut it off and only gonna scrape it to wherever I'm gonna cut. All right. And that should be it for the pig. So before you're cutting the meat or you're cutting into here, Always wash your hand because you know all that ash is coming out. So wash it up before. Now at this point, you don't need to rewash the pig because if you spray on, it get wet and then all that ash you're gonna touch. See, if I, I just touch a little bit and it's gonna get in here. So let it dry the outside it won't hurt anything okay so when you start cooking you you need to clean it again but right now you don't have to you can just cut it up and put it into ice okay so i like to start with the top okay so i'm just gonna cut cut the feet up it's just easier for me to work to work on this opening it up so there is a joint right here 
just right above where you hook it uh, right there and uh, you can actually feel it a little bit by moving this right here if you don't know where it is so just kind of make a round cut round cut like that and see and you just pop it and just pop it like that okay that's where the joint is at and just cut it off very easy you don't need anything big to work on a work on a pick as long as you have a sharp knife small like this even smaller knife you can get the job done see one thing about this if you cut it just a little high or a little low you won't be able to uh, to break this okay so like this one I cut it right on so it's just soft very easy to to break it and the other one I have to kind of force it a little bit but you know it breaks just like that and there you go that's the top legs and then I'm gonna go to I mean that's the back leg so I'm gonna bring it higher higher and again you're gonna remove the the leg the feet okay some people eat all the way down here I don't care so I'm just gonna cut it up right here if you hold the top you pull it up and there's a curve right there make a slit right there okay and this should pop pop out this whole thing twist it make a cut and it should just pop right there okay very easy and simple just have the right cut to it and it, and it works just fine see right there cut that joint and it just popped very easy see sometimes you have to cut really cut through that tendon if that tendon is just a little bit right there this tendon right here the top and you won't be able to cut it or won't be able to rip it okay so again uh, for the head so the head I usually started by the ear and then working around so I started by the ear right here make a make a, a cut right there and go around go all the way down to the jar because there's a jar bone that goes like this so you're gonna cut all the way down here and come back up to the ear that way you get extra meat onto the, the pig okay so right here uh, the blood is gonna spill out so kind of be careful it's not spill on you so basically you're gonna make a cut first like that and around around the head okay now you have a circle go deeper and just take the head off okay everything is very easy to find that little joint uh, just find a little joint inside and just use your knife and kind of work through it and you can just able to pop it out without using any axe or anything sometimes you have to use an axe or a saw to do that but most of the time you don't have to some people eat the head too I don't so you see that jaw bones right here and believe it or not the head is actually have quite a lot of meat in there so I'm gonna find that little joint and just move my knife around and I am able to break it just kind of twist it if it doesn't twist kind of find there are more meat tendons around and just look through that bone
and trying to break it again. There you go. See? All you need is a small knife. And just like that. You gotta wash your hand very, very often, okay? So you don't want all that ash to be all around. So, you know, your hands, if your hand's dirty, just wash it off. All right, so I'm gonna lower this. Okay, so since this is a male, a male pig, uh, we're going to cut up the penis, you know, take it out uh, before all the urine is going to get everywhere. Okay, so let's start it on top. There's a ball, you know, the pig balls right here. Two big ones, like huge. So you don't want to cut too deep, just kind of small cut like that down to close to the, uh, to the penis. Make a round, make a round cut like that. And then all the way down to uh, to the stomach area. Okay, just work your way through here and grab that penis and make cuts. It's a little hard for me to do it all here by myself and video at the same time. So my video, my uh, camera is stationary and I'm moving around. So uh, so kind of bear with me, okay? There you go. See, I got just spray with that uh, urine, but it will be okay. As long as don't get onto your meat, I'll be fine. All right, just pull it out like that. Flip it to the back, to the back of the pig. Okay, and cut through here again, just be careful, don't cut that. And now, you can cut through the stomach. So, make sure you don't go really deep because you don't want to cut all the gut, uh, the gut stuff, okay? So, get your finger in here, spread your finger like this, and move your knife uh, along it. You don't want to cut the intestine and you don't want to cut the stomach as well. Okay. Now we're going to go all the way to the, uh, the neck area. Okay, so make a small cut first. So it's kind of basically a guy for you to, to go. And uh, deeper and deeper as you go, okay? You don't have to cut really one cut all the way down. That's gonna mess around. So one cut until you find that cavity bone right here. Okay, and Just working your way down okay so the cavity bones right here if you go right in the middle there's a whole bunch of cartilage you can use this knife and make it a really hard cut down and split if you miss it on the side that way all the ribs are at and is it's hard but if you have a sharp enough knife you can go through that too so i'm going to bring it a little lower so i can have that um, the power to push down okay Right, that should be lower enough so I'm gonna again put my finger in here and guide it down so I don't cut the uh, intestine okay and down here when you reach to the bone area notice I can just do this and cut it out but I'm gonna put my knife all the way in at this angle like this you don't want to poke all the way in like this you're gonna hit the uh, stomach right there okay so I'm gonna go down like like this with all the way and then give it a good push down like that and it should rip the whole uh, that whole thing out 
see rip that whole uh, chest cage out and down here just the meat area there we go just like that and you can able to rip it out you know the heart the lung uh, and everything is right there give it a good twist cut it out and now we're gonna wash this wash your hand as often as you can so you don't get the meat dirty I mean it's not a problem at all but it just looks nicer when you do that okay so once you open this notice all the intestine right here okay that's a big bladder right there full of urine so that's the reason why you go slow you don't want to cut this and you know it bursts everywhere and and you know your whole your whole pig is gonna be bad to the taste okay so start right here and cut cut and pull pull everything out okay there's a kidney in there if you want to eat them leave it there or you want to take it out take it out i don't so i'm just going to take it out it just if i take it i have an extra ice of uh, uh cooler with ice and just for a couple of kidney and heart that's just not worth it so i'm just going to cut everything out you know just put your hand all the way in and cut along the back uh, the back of the, the pig and you're able to pull it out pull out everything okay so here i have a stomach the liver and the lung is coming out as well right there see the stomach area the kidney the spleen the stomach the heart the lung and the uh the liver right here everything here is edible but i'm not gonna mess with it so i'm just gonna cut out everything okay and the heart is coming out as well right here this guy got a pretty big heart so grab onto something if you want to fall straight down to the ground that's fine but i have a bucket so right there that's everything and you can just rip it off just like that and throw it away all right you see how I cut really clean through here uh, with the, the rib cage now lower it down and we're gonna work this that boy right there all right so you you see the the ball okay just cut through here slowly there's a um, about a couple of inches of meat right here at the uh, the bone before you hit the bone so go through and cut until you hit that bone and stop split it a little bit on both sides of the the urine now because this is a male it has two giant balls right right here with the skin cover so you can either go in and pick the ball out or you can just you know make a big cut of the skin off like that to the back all the way to the all the way to the anus and then i'm gonna walk around uh, walk around the tail as well okay so i don't want the tail so i'm just gonna cut it out so make sure you don't go really deep you're gonna puncture that um the intestine right there and you know all that poop's gonna come back out so basically just go in here a little bit pull out like that there, that's a small bone that connect the spine all the way to the, the tail so kind of work your way slowly 
until that cut out. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm gonna cut both way. All the way to the tail. And you're gonna go, make sure you use your finger to feel where you're cutting, okay? And here is the ball area. Pull it out, working the way. Basically, you're just gonna feel where you're cutting. You don't wanna cut that ball open or the urine or the intestine, okay? So right here is the most important uh, place to, to put all your cuts into when working on a horse or any animal, really. You don't want this urine to to get into your meat. See, kind of work through all the way in there. See if you know this this is this is one ball this is the second ball two giant balls right there you know and you're gonna use an axe okay you kinda there is a small piece of uh, bones right here it connect between the hip the hip bone basically use an axe and pop it right there so make sure you don't pop it all the way down and hit that bladder okay some of the the hogs that come out with the bladder is small because they don't have enough urine so you, you can just cut it off and throw it away first but this one is big i don't have the room to cut it off it's gonna spill so i'm gonna leave it and right here you can hear it right there see so just pop it it'll break open and you are able to to work with it I mean, it's really soft. I just want to hit it hard, so it, it might slip through and hit the bladder. So I'm, you know, give it a couple of try, and it's very, very easy. All right. If you have a wider uh, hanger, you can just split it open. If not, you can always let go of one of these and uh, work uh, and work with that. Okay. So this pig is a little heavy, so I'm gonna try. Okay. I'm gonna lift this up. I mean, you don't have to, it's just easier to work with. So I think I'm gonna have it sit on this chair. will be much easier for me to work with instead of lifting lifting two three hundred pounds and I'm gonna raise it back up You see what I'm talking about? Open area for you to bring all of this to the front and to rip it off. Okay, so make sure you have your knife with you and slowly rip this right in between the uh, the bones. Okay, so do that on both sides. and bring it to the front. There we go. 
So make sure you don't rip out the, uh, the intestine, okay? And if you happen to rip it out a little bit, try not, not to have uh, that fecal matter into your meat. I mean, it'll be okay, but it won't taste good. So there you go. There you have it. Everything completely out. The urine, the, the butthole, the balls, and the penis here, everything goes to the trash. All right, now, now let's wash it out, okay? You're trying to get as much blood out as you can. I know it's gonna be a long video, but bear with me, okay? So, at this point, you're gonna need an axe or a saw, okay? So I find it better with an axe because you know I'm just gonna give it a few hacks and it's is done but with the saw I mean that's very tiring so backbone all the way down we're gonna split it okay so I mean nothing special about this just aim right and start hacking It's just easy as that. So if you want to quartering it out, I usually do it three piece on one size, which is the back leg, the ribs area, and then the front legs, okay? It's easier for me to store into my cooler. If you have a big cooler, throw the whole thing in. If not, uh, cut in half, throw it in there, go home and work on it. But I usually do it uh, into six pieces, okay? So basically, the legs, the back leg is gonna start right here so there's a curve like that it's from here so I just chop a little bit down cut that and then use my knife to cut out and take the whole back leg out okay I break that I break that bone and now we're gonna go in the meat section And there you go that's the whole back leg and for the uh, for the uh, the ribs area you can account from the first one up to the fifth rib and then cut between the fifth and the sixth rib okay so one two three four five and I'm gonna cut right here that will come out to about right there you know there's a blade bone right here you don't want to cut through that okay So if you're doing this, you're gonna pull out. So make sure you pull, do it slow or you can go back outside and cut it this way. You don't want yourself stabbed, okay? So, right there, just, just like that. Cut all the way into the, cut all the way in to the backbone and then start a move your way down again. So you're gonna chop the uh, chop the uh, uh, the backbone and then cut the meat. Okay, you don't want to cut it with with this unless you have like a a butcher big butcher knife and you can just go straight down with it. See, nice and easy. 
with the saw it looked cleaner but it's a lot more work because you have to continue sawing all right and there is my rib It's nice to have a really sharp knife, small bone like this, and can just rip through easy. There are a bone right there, and just, you know, just cut it through. All right, I'm gonna bring it up. And work in the rest of the the front legs, okay? Now the front leg is a little harder to hack because it's thicker, the neck bone thicker, and then this too is on your way. So chop it. And then use your knife. We're able to cut the whole thing. And then again for this area you can just kind of work from the from the front legs all the way to the back so it should be easy. So basically one, two, three, four, five, cut in between right there right there and you have your front leg really this area you can just break it or you have you have a sharp knife just go in there and kind of move your way it should be cutting out too but you know it just Easy and faster if you just use a X. Just like that, easy and fast. All right, this area, I'm gonna go right here. You see how that curve, that bone is just curved like that. That's where you're gonna go right, right onto that curve. And you should be able to cut the rest out. Look like I didn't cut through, but that should work. I just take the whole thing and dump in the cooler. Oh boy, it's gonna be heavy. There we go, and just break it. All right, guys, that is all that I have for you guys today, and hope you guys learned something about this. I mean, I've been doing this for several times before I can learn this experience how to get this thing go faster but because i'm doing a video so it take a little longer but usually it take me about 10 minutes to complete the whole hog so anyways i'll see you guys on the next video i got another one to clean peace out